friends, my name is Sitlali. Welcome to Lifehouse Kids. Thank you for joining us today. We have such a fun time planned for you. So please, get comfortable wherever you are and get ready for lots of fun. Remember, God loves us so much that He gave us Jesus. And guess what? You can change the world because Jesus loves you. Let's sing this out to Him with everything we've got. A one, two. Sing along with all you got. Here we go. I can love my neighbor because Jesus loves me. I can change the world because Jesus loves me. Sing it again. I can love my neighbor because Jesus loves me. I can change the world because Jesus loves me. we will be learning that we can trust God. So when I ask, who can trust God? I want you to say, I can trust God. Are you ready? Who can trust God? I can trust God. That's right. Jesus is the best. God sent us Jesus because he loves us. What a big reason to trust in God. In our Bible story today, we'll hear about a big fire that started with wet sticks it was crazy. Let's go find out what happened. Hoo, hoo. Know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder
Hi friends, I'm Lucy, and my mom found something so amazing when she was going through boxes in the attic. Are you ready to see what it is? Scarfs! I brought them here so I can dance with them. Music player, Melody. Hello. Can you please play some fun music for dancing with scarfs? Playing fun music. Here I go. I love dancing with scarves, and I want you to try with me. Pretend like you have a scarf in your hand. Wave the scarf high, wave it low, and swoop it around in a big circle. Now put your hands back in your lap. Great job, friends. I love dancing with all these bright colors. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? Having fun with scarves, are you? I sure am, Ollie. I just love dancing with all these bright colors. Red and yellow and orange. Who? Who? Those colors remind me of a story for you. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Yes! I got it working! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hola, friends! I'm Luis, the handyman. I was just fixing my indoor marshmallow roaster. Mm. Oh, <laughs> you know, sometimes I even roast marshmallows on a big fire outside. Have you ever done that? Oh, <laughs> it's so much fun. <laughs> Speaking of fire, that reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Great! Let's put on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a man named Elijah. Elijah was a friend of God's. He knew God could do anything, and Elijah trusted God. But the king of the land, King Ahab, did not. King Ahab believed in a pretend God called Baal and had a big statue of him. The king had a lot of people who told him over and over that Baal had superpowers, that the statue could do anything. And the king was like, wow, that's great. But Elijah was like, no, that's not great. There is only one true God, and everyone needs to know. So Elijah said to the king, let's do a test. We'll each set up an altar, and then we'll pray. The God who starts a fire on the altar is the real God, the one true God. Everyone agreed, and Elijah let King Ahab go first. So King Ahab and his big group of people prayed to Baal and they shouted, but did Baal send fire? Nope. So Elijah said, hmm, maybe it's sleeping. Maybe you should shout louder. So King Ahab and the prophets tried again. They shouted louder and louder, but did Baal answer with fire? Let's check. Nope. Then it was Elijah's turn. He trusted God and believed God can do anything. So Elijah went to the altar. He had people pour water on it 
so it would be really hard to light on fire. And then he prayed, God, we believe you are the one true God, that you can do anything. Show us your power, God. He did it. God lit the altar on fire and everyone knew that God is the one true God. Wow, God is so powerful. God can do anything. When we remember that God can do anything, it helps us to trust God. I can trust God and you can trust God. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. <laughs> so there's your story. And it's all true. God showed he's the one true God. That means we can trust him. Ho, ho. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, God can do anything. He sent fire and showed that he is the one true God and we can trust him. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. All these colors look like the fire in our story. Now whenever I dance with them, I can remember that God can do anything. Hey Melody, play some more dancing music, please. Playing dance music. Our Bible story began with a king named Ahab. He thought his fake god had powers and he told everyone to worship his fake god. But a man named Elijah knew that God is the only true God and he wanted everyone to know the truth. So Elijah prayed to God. Elijah told God that he believed God is the only true God and that he has the power to do anything. Elijah asked God to show his power to everyone so they could believe too. Then something amazing happened. Yes, God heard Elijah's prayer and sent fire down on the altar. Everyone saw what happened and knew that God is the one true God and has the power to do anything. Elijah trusted God because he knew God can do it all. When we believe that God can do anything and that he is the one true God, it will help us trust God too. Who can trust God? I can trust God. One more time. Who can trust God? I can trust God. And the Bible verse we are learning says, I trust in God. I am not afraid. Psalm 56, 11. Wow, what an awesome verse. Let's say that verse with emotions. Are you ready? I trust in God. I am not afraid. Psalm 56, 11. Awesome job, everyone. Let's try that again, okay? Are you ready? I trust in God. I am not afraid. Psalm 56, 11. Okay, friends, one last time. Are you ready? I trust in God. I am not afraid. Psalm 56, 11. God is so powerful, friends. God can do anything. When we remember that God can do anything, it helps us trust in Him. I can trust God and you can trust God. Who can trust God? I can trust God. Let's go ahead and talk to God now. Dear God, thank you for always being with us and hearing us when we talk to you. We know that we can talk to you about anything, like when we feel afraid, worried, or even sad. You are always there listening to us. We believe that we can trust you with everything and that you can do anything. You are awesome, God, and we love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. 
friends, thank you for being such great listeners all month long. If you're watching at one of our campuses, get ready for some more fun activities with your small group leader. And remember, Jesus loves you so much and he wants to be your friend forever. Have a great time. We'll see you next time. Bye.